I'm Alex Villarreal with the VOA Special English Health Report. A neighborhood barber shop might seem to some Americans like a thing of the past. Today, men often get their hair cut at the same salons as women. But the traditional barber shop still holds a special place in black culture. A barber shop is a place of trust where men can talk about things they might not want women to hear. This is why black owned barber shops increasingly offer more than just a haircut. Men also receive health education and testing that could save their life. Right now, a program called the Black Barbershop Health Outreach Program is traveling to 50 cities across the United States. A doctor started the program in California in 2007. It tests men for diabetes, high blood pressure, and other conditions, and provides information about how to stay healthy. Black men in the United States are three times more likely than white men to die from high blood pressure, also known as hypertension. They are also more likely to get diabetes. A new study has examined the barbershop healthcare model in Dallas, Texas. The study involved about 1,300 customers at 17 black barbershops. Researchers had the barbers at eight of the shops continue to just give haircuts. The other barbers learned how to measure blood pressure and offered it with every haircut. If a customer had high blood pressure, the barber would intervene. The customer would be urged to see a doctor. If the man did not have a doctor, then a visit to one would be set up. Customers who went to a doctor would get their next haircut free of charge. The study lasted 10 months. All of the men had their blood pressure taken at the start. They also received educational materials about hypertension. The study found that blood pressure rates decreased at the shops where the barbers intervened and also at those where they did not. But the difference was in the amount. 20% of the men who were urged to see a doctor got their blood pressure down to a healthy level. So did only 11% of the men who just got haircuts. Researchers from the Cedars-Sinai Heart Institute in Los Angeles did the study, reported in the Archives of Internal Medicine. Dr. Ronald Victor, the study leader, says barbers historically were members of the medical profession. So he thinks it makes a lot of sense for today's barbers to act as healthcare extenders by sharpening their skills. For VOA Special English, I'm Alex Villarreal.